Hello and welcome, I'm Josh with US Cutter and today we're going to be talking about print and cut options for your light and dark cotton fabrics using a sawgrass printer. The very first transfers we're going to be looking at are the Caesar Easy Subly transfers. We're then going to follow that up with the Forever Subliflex 202 using a different printer with Sublijet HD inks. And then finally, we have a third printer with the Sawgrass Chromoblast inks inside of it, and we're using the Chromoblast paper uh, with that too. To keep this video short, I'm going to be leaving out the software parts. Uh, if you want to see that, I will have some relative content linked in the video description down below. While you're here, be sure to click that like button or subscribe to the channel if you want. Uh, but in this video, I was originally going to use the Prism Cut, which also comes on this amazing stand but I ended up having to shoot this at home over the weekend, so I will be cutting everything on this Laser Point 3, which also has a sweet stand that comes with this awesome catch basket. So let's go ahead and get started with the Caesar Easy Subly. Once my image has finished printing, I'm going to want to put it on a carrier sheet, and when I put it on the carrier sheet, you want to keep it as straight as possible. Another very important piece of advice is to not use a premium 60 degree blade on the Easy Subly papers. They will cut straight through the backer no matter how little pressure you use. So I'm going to switch over to the standard 3 for $10, uh, 45 degree blades that we sell here at US Cutter. Your cut pressure is also going to differ depending on your depth and sharpness of your blade. So make sure that you always do a test cut before starting any job and that's going to go for every single product I show you tonight. Always do a test cut. When you're loading in the Caesar Easy Subly transfer paper, you're going to want to make sure you move the pinch roller, or heck, any of the transfer papers I show you tonight, you're going to want to make sure you do this. Move the pinch roller away from it so that it doesn't run through the middle and cause this to happen. This is also another reason why I'm using a carrier sheet, but more on that a little bit later. The Laser Point 3 uses the ARMS contour cut system, so it's going to scan all four of the registration marks and then start cutting the assigned contour cut area. The next thing we're going to do with the Easy Subly is weed away the unused vinyl and then apply the mask. Once the mask has been applied, then we're going to apply the design to the substrate. When we press the Easy Subly to the substrate, we're going to press it at 310 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 seconds with medium pressure. Easy Subly will work with 100% cotton, poly cotton blends, and 100% polyester fabrics, so you've got a lot of options with it. Easy Subly also has the softest feel out of everything we're going to see here tonight, uh, but this does cause it to lose a little bit out on the sharpness of the image quality, but even when I do small pictures of my black cat that you see here uh, with his little buddy, uh, everything you can make out everything just fine. I've also seen some people online making precious memory quilts with these. Not a bad idea, just make sure that you do some type of contour cut around the edges to round it out. Uh, that way you can have the best results and it'll last a little bit longer. Usually if you do a square, the first thing to come up is the corners. I made a mini version of a memory quilt so you can have a little example. And uh, I put my cat and the pictures of his old friend that moved away on there to keep him warm. Next we have the Forever Subliflex 202 with the Sawgrass Subliget HD inks. It's almost the same process here, except we're going to mirror our design before printing. Forever says you want to put down 10 sheets of paper over the transfer and then press it for 15 seconds at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to get with them and ask them why, but I'm going to follow the instructions anyway. Once we're done with that, we're going to let it cool down, peel the backer off, and then press it again for 30 seconds with just a normal sheet of parchment paper over the top of it. Forever Subliflex is going to give you the sharpest image that we're going to see tonight, but it does kind of feel like a sheet of vinyl when touched, so you're going to want to make your contour cut as tight as possible to give it a lighter feel on your garment. Forever Subliflex is only designed to work with any color cotton as long as it's 100% cotton. If you do try something that's 100% polyester or blended cotton poly shirt, it will attach to the shirt, but you are gonna have some dye migration as you can kinda of see a little bit started right here on this 50-50 shirt. Finally, we have the Sawgrass Chromoblast inks using the Sawgrass Chromoblast paper. With this, you can only create transfers for white 100% cotton t-shirts. The look, feel, and process is extremely similar to Parapy Inkjet light papers that we sell here at uscutter.com, 
but Sawgrass Chromoblast uh, gives you the Sawgrass Print Manager, and this is going to give you the sharpest looking transfers that you can get uh, from an inkjet printer. I won't lie to you, I found this one kind of hard to weed, and in some cases I just cut through the backer and then use the easy subly mask on it. And uh, But I did make sure to weed it properly just so that you could have an example to see right here today. For the Chrome Blast, we're going to be pressing it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit with high pressure for 20 to 30 seconds and then peeling it hot. In my example here, I let it cool down too much and the paper started to stick to the shirt and I had to pick a little bit of it off afterwards. Very good photorealistic quality from these transfers as you can see. But the feel, however, is just like an inkjet or laser light paper with a waxy feel on the transfer. And you're only limited to a white 100% cotton shirts with this chromoblast machine. Well, there you have it. There's all three of the print and cut options for sawgrass printers that work on cotton that we have here at US Cutter. I am going to leave you with a few pro tips before we get out of here, but before I do that, I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. And as always, you can contact us if you have any product questions at sales at uscutter.com. And then if you need any support uh, with every single product that you buy at uscutter.com, it comes with lifetime support. And you can contact us at support at uscutter.com to get support on that. Now, on to those tips. I like to use as much of the printable paper as possible, and sometimes your cutter may start to scan the edge of the page by mistake. To prevent this, I will color in the registration marks with a Sharpie to make them darker. Then other times, I will add paper to the side of the backer so that there isn't such a sharp contrast of colors uh, so that the laser doesn't pick on that or the camera doesn't get a false reading. Now, when it comes to the transfers that you saw here today, the Caesar Easy Subly is the softest feeling print and cut transfer for cotton on the market, and even allows you to use it with polyester fabrics. It also works with the Sublijet HD inks too, but for the best results, you do want to pair it with the Caesar Easy Subly ink. The Forever Subliflex 202 gives you the sharpest image quality and doesn't require a mask, uh, and it does work with the Easy Subly inks as well as the Sublijet HD inks from my personal experience. Chromoblast gives you the extremely sharp prints for white 100% cottons, and when you compare it to a normal inkjet printer, you're not going to have anything as sharp as that. My favorite out of the three is Ink Sale! Ink Sale! US Cutter Ink Sale! For a limited time, get all these sawgrass inks and more at a discounted price, only at US Cutter.